I am the one الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأزواجه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقتتم من لساني يفقه قولي ربي زدني علما أجمعين إن شاء الله May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nice to see you, brothers and sisters. We will start Adarsul Ishroon. And uh, brothers and sisters, we'll start with the verbs again. We'll start with the verbs again. We did a little bit of it uh, uh, in the last... Uh, session. We'll do it in detail now. Huh? Brother, on page number 174, huh? you have Ta'ammal, Ta'ammal al-Misala, Thumma Hati Mudariya, Wal Amr, Wasma Fa'ili, Wal Mastar, Min al-Af'al al-Atiyati, Al-Madi, Mudariya, Amar, Ism, Fa'il, and Master. Ta'allama. Now what is happening in this verb, brothers and sisters? As you can see on the board, we have our root. Fa'ala. That is our root, brothers and sisters. The, the city has given permission for only three rooms. They are the permanent residents. Who are they? The permanent residents. Now... They want to invite Ain, so they make a small room, which m makes the verb into form two. Fa'ala. Are you with me? Now, we want to again invite Ta, which comes in the beginning. Huh? So it becomes, what does it become, brothers and sisters? It becomes Tafa'ala. Tafa'ala. And I, I always jokingly said, say, brothers and sisters, 
2 plus 3. 5. From 2 plus ta is equal to from 5. Form 2, what is form 2? And what is the Aleph B T. Aleph B T. 3. Huh? Are you with me? So that makes it into form 5. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? Ta is the third letter of alphabet. Form 5. Okay. We have to remember, brothers and sisters, that in form 2, 3, and 4, the alamatu mudariya was Dhamma. Are you with me? Dhamma. Okay. Why? Because there were four letters. Okay. So it became Allama Yuallimu. Huh? Kabala yukabilu. Akharaja yukhriju. Huh? That is because there were four letters in the verb. Now we have got five letters. Tafa ala. So what will be the alamatu mudariya? Again fata. Are you with me? It will change into fata. Only when there are four letters, then you have dhamma. Coming uh, on the alamatu mudariya. Now we have fata. Okay, brothers and sisters. So, tafa ala. What is the mudariya? Yatafa alu. Yatafa alu. Yatafa alu. See, we have to also understand, brothers and sisters, that there is a fata on ain kalima, not a kasra. Huh? So everything is fata, 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 no kasra. How will you make amar, brother? You will only chop alamatu mudariya. What are we left with? Huh? Uh, what would you have left with? Tafa, uh, tafa al. That's all. Okay? That's what the Amar will be. So it's easy. You just have to remember there are no Kasras in form 5 as well as form 6. The only time the Ain Kalima will get a Kasra is when we make Isam file. That's all. When, it, when we make Isam file, then the Ain Kalima will get a Kasra. Otherwise, there are no Kasras. It's very easy. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, look at the first verb, brothers and sisters. The Allama, he learned. What is the Mudariya? Yata Allamu, he learns. The Allam, learn. Okay. Muta'allim. Muta'allim. See, you got a kasra at the, on the Ain Kalima. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Muta'allim. Muta'allim. Okay. And then, what is the master? Ta'allum. Which is on the pattern of Tafa Ulun. Huh? And for simplicity, I always say, just remember tabassum, because it's so easy to remember. And it's got a beautiful meaning, tabassum. And I'm sure you know, most of you know this name, you must know a sister called tabassum. So it's very easy to identify it with that name. Tahaddasa, brothers sisters, to speak. Tahaddasa, what will be the mudariya? Ya tahaddasu. And Amar, tahaddas. And Isam file, mutahaddis. And what will be the 
Master? Tahaddus. Tahaddus. Okay, fine. Takallama. The meaning of takallama and tahaddasa is same. Okay, brothers and sisters. With a slight difference, you know. To speak, to narrate. But takallama, you speak with somebody directly. Brothers and sisters. Okay. Ya takallamu. Takallam. And is some file. Now we know this word. Mutakallim. Damir. Mutakallim. The first person pronouns. Ana and nahnu. I and we are called first person pronoun. What do we call them in Arabic? Mutakallim. What is the third person pronoun? al ghaib What is the second person pronoun? al mukhatab mukhatab Okay? Ism maful. And then, mutakallim. This is ism file. Mukhatab. Mukhatab is ism maful from what kind of a word? Khataba. Yukhatibu. Form three. To address someone. So, mukhatab is the person who is being addressed. Mutakallim is the person who speaks. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. And what will you call speaking? Takallumu. What is it? Takallumu, speaking. Huh? Okay. Tazakkara, to remember. Ya tazakkaru. Tazakkar. Mutazak kirun. What will be the master? Tazakkur. Right? Inshallah. Tazakkur. Fine. Ta'akhara. To be late. Ya ta'akharu. Ta'akhar. Muta'akhir. What is muta'akhir? Late latif. What did I say? Late latif. The person who comes late. Huh? And then, lateness. What is that? Ta'akhuru. Lateness is ta'akhuru. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Now we come to Nakis verbs. And this is where, last time, I could not explain you because we didn't have much time. Now I will explain you in detail, brothers and sisters. Tagadda. What is the verb? Tagadda. To have lunch. Okay, brothers and sisters. And then, what is the mudarya? Yatagadda. What is originally? Yatagadda you. Huh? Yatagadda you. Okay, but the dhamma is mukaddara. Okay? And now, because this is a nakis verb, brothers and sisters, ya ta da. How do we make Amar? How many chops, Brother Hassan? Two chops. Huh? Nakis, the Lam Kalima, is dropped. So what is the result now, brothers and sisters? Tagadda. Have lunch. What is the meaning of Tagadda? Eat lunch. Have lunch. Tagadda. Now, brothers and sisters, of course, we are also quite strong now in making some file from Tagadda. Uh, what will be the some file? Muta Gaddin. Are you with me? Muta Gaddin, which is originally Muta Gaddiyun. Okay, let me write it down. Muta Gad. Din, okay, which is originally Muta Gad Di Yan. And if I put Alif Lam, then the Ya will become visible. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? You got to be strong in Mankus. 
We have spent a lot of time in understanding mankus. Huh? If you have any difficulty, you've got to revise lesson number one. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So as you see here, brothers and sisters, there's a ya with a tanwin. And there's a kasra before it. Okay? So this tanwin is dropped. What is it, brother? This tanwin is dropped. Huh? Along with ya. And you give an extra compensatory kasra. Now this ya becomes visible when you make it definite. If you were to decline it, Sister Sumaya, Mutagaddin Marfu. Make it Mansu. Mutagaddiyan. Then the Ya will come. Remember when it is, that is the characteristics of Nakis. Huh? When it is Mansu, then the Ya becomes visible. Make it Majru, again Mutagaddin. Okay? So Mutagaddin, when it is Marfu, we say Dammatul Mukhaddara. When it is Majrur, we say Kasratul Mukhaddara. Are you with me? And when it is Mansu, it's normal. Huh? Remember this, brothers and sisters. It needs revision. And if you have forgotten, don't worry. It's quite normal to forget things. Because there are too many things we have to memorize. If you revise it, inshallah you will become strong. And you will never forget. Huh? Now comes the tricky part, brothers and sisters. This is why everybody should pay attention. How do I make mustard, brothers and sisters? Hmm? What is the form of mustard? So I will say, Tahad, Du, and then, in the end, Yun. Are you with me? Did I make the master in its original form? Tafa Olun. Tarad Du Yum. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay, now watch carefully, brothers and sisters. Very carefully, I want you to watch. Here there is a. Here there is a. Ya. Sahi. What is before Ya? Dhamma, no. Ya and Dhamma are not compatible. So what shall we do? Uh, we bring it down. Are you with me? I, I cross this and I bring it down. Because Ya and Dhamma are not compatible. Okay. As soon as I brought the Kasra, the same rule applies. Are you with me? <laughs> there is a uh, kasra before ya with tanwin. Then this thing has to go away. And it will get extra kasra. Are you with me? Got it, brothers and sisters? Huh? How did we get this? What is the mas uh, master from... Tagadda, Tagaddin. How did you get Tagaddin? It is so different from the other mustard that we are. Now the pattern of the mustard is Tabassum. How did you get Tagaddin? How did we get it? First change. Huh? Change number one. What was it? Tagad, Tagad. D Yun. Got the idea? Are you with me? I change Dhamma into Kasra because Ya and Dhamma are not compatible. Second change. Huh? Second change is Tagad Den. Huh? Why it happened? Because before Ya with the Tanween, there was a Kasra. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? 
You know, I'm trying to explain you in detail and in a, as simple as it is possible. You know why? Why I'm doing this, brother and sister? I had a tough time figuring out what is happening. And once I figured out, I mean, of course, I was taught. I didn't figure out myself. But when I was taught, and when you think over it, then it becomes easy for you. See, because in, in Arabic language, the vowel signs change like mathematics and algebra, you know. Ja and Dhamma are not comp uh, compatible, okay. Kasra and Vav is not compatible. So then some changes take place and you will, inshallah, observe it. Huh? You will think over it and you will find that it's very logical. But if you put Al there, what will happen? Then the Ya will come out. How will you say? At-Tagaddi. What will you say? At-Tagaddi. Let me write it down. Huh? If you put Alif Lam, at Tagad D. Huh? Now the Ya came out because of Al. Huh? Because of Al, the Ya came out. Now everything we got here is mentioned in lesson number one under the, under the heading of Mankus nouns. Okay? Inshallah, you will get the opportunity to revise it. The Asha to have supper. Yata Asha. What will be the Amar? The Asha. Huh? Only Fata, no Kasras. Huh? And what will be the Isam file? Mota Ash Shin. Mota Ash Shin. Okay, in here, uh, chart, in this chart, Isam file is not given. But you can make it. You can easily make it. You know how to do it. Huh? Okay. Let me write down here, brother and sister. This is SM5. Okay, brother? Which is not given here. Talakka. Huh? Very nice word, brother. To receive. Yatalakka. Huh? Amar, talakka, huh? and then master, talakkin, and you know why it is talakkin. Huh? Originally it was talakkuyun, very nice verb, tamanna, brothers and sisters, this word has a special Sweetness in it. I think uh, in Afghanistan, a uh, lot of children's names are Tamanna. I have met many sisters from Afghanistan. The name is Tamanna. Desire, wish, you know, Tamanna. Okay. And it always reminds me of this song, you know, brothers and sisters. Wo tamanna aur kya jaane tamanna aap hai kya karungi leke dunia meri dunia aap hai wo tamanna aur kya this used to be one of the most favorite songs, you know. And I think it is still, this song will never die, you know, because the meanings are so sweet and pure, huh? very pure, innocent meaning. Brother. And of course, we cannot forget the dua of Alama Iqbal, which is so very meaningful. Lapeyati hai dua banke Tamanna meri zindagi shamma ki surat ho khudaya meri. Again, very beautiful dua. Tamanna, desire. Huh? 
which comes from your heart. Okay. So whether tamanna. What will do the mudarya? Yatamanna. Are you with me? And then what will be the amar? Tamanna. Huh? And what will be the master? Taman nin. Taman nin. Very good. Ta'anna. No, this is a very nice verb. Ta'anna. What is the meaning of ta'anna? To do something carefully. Huh? Cautiously. Slowly. Deliberately. That is the meaning of ta'anna. Are you with me, brother and sister? What will be the mudarya? Yata anna. What will be the masta? Ta'annin. What will be the amar? Ta'anna. Madi, ta'anna. Mudarya, yata anna. And amar, ta'anna. And master, ta'annin. Write down something, brother and sister. What did I write down? Translate. Ikra pita annin. Read carefully, slowly. And the teacher will tell you, read carefully. What will you say in Arabic? Ikra pita annin. Read carefully, slowly. Write down, brother. <coughs> read. Carefully, slowly. Hmm? Nice sentence, isn't it, brother? Ikra bitaanin. B has to come. Huh? Ikra bi taanin. Huh? So bi taanin means slowly. Bi taanin means slowly, carefully, huh? deliberately. Okay, fine. You got the idea, brothers and sisters. Now there are a couple of more verbs that I would like to <coughs> do, but I think I'll wait till we till it comes in the sentence. Till it comes in the sentence, then I'll explain you this again. A very beautiful verb, very beautiful verb, brother. That is why, you know, I always say, learning Arabic language. What is it, brother? Learning Arabic Arabic language is a blessing. What is it, brother and sisters? It is a blessing, brother. Trust me. You learn so much, and then the Quran really becomes your shield, and it protects you from all the ups and downs of life. Quran protects you. Quran gives you sabr. Quran gives you sakina in your heart. But when will it give you? When you will understand it, brother. Then only. And this. What we are doing, inshallah, is the way to understand the Quran. Brothers and sisters, now we go to the main lesson. Huh? Al Mudarris. Ta'akharta ya Usama. Okay, what are we going to do now? We are going to watch every Mahdi, Mudarya, Amar, Master, Ism File, and Ism Maful. Brothers and sisters, Ism maful will also be ismu zaman and ismu makan. Watch for it. This verb is mostly lazim. What did I say? Mostly lazim. There are some transitive verbs also, or it will become transitive bi wasitati harfchar. Okay. So taakharta ya usama na. You see taakharta. Is your uh, intransitive? Huh? You came late, Ya Osama. Okay. So what is this word, brother? Taakharta, Madi. What is it? Madi. Huh? Okay. Where is the verb? Taakhar. And what is the file? Huh? Ta is the file. Okay. Aina kunta. Translation. 
Where were you? Where have you been? Where were you? Aina kunta. Okay, brother and sister. Usama says, La tu akhizni, ya ustad. Forgive me. Pardon me, ya ustad. Are you with me? What kind of verb is this? Tu akhiz. Form. Form three. Remember, form three. Akhaza, you akhiz. Okay, fine. In nama zahabtu, I only went. Elal mutawaddai. What is this mutawaddai? Ismu makan. What is the verb? Tawadda. What is the meaning of tawadda? Madi. To do wudu. Tawadda. Mudarya. Ya tawadda. Amar. Tawadda. So, innama zahabtu ilal mutawaddai li la mutalil li atawadda'a. What is the meaning of atawadda'a? What kind of a verb is this? It's mudarya. Okay? Tawadda'a. What is mudarya? Ya tawadda'u. Five in your pocket. Ya tawadda'u. Ta tawadda'u. Ta tawadda'u. Atawadda'u. Na tawadda'u. Atawadda'u. Put lam talil in front. Li. Atawadda. A. Is it clear? You are so quiet today. <laughs> are you following me? Did you follow Atavadda? It's Mansub. Why it is Mansub? Because of Lamut Alim. Huh? Translation, brother. I only went to the Vudu place in order to do Vudu. Fakad Hana Waktu Salati. The time of Salah has come. Okay, are you with me? Hana waktu, the time of salat has come. Where is the file of Hana? Waktu. Huh? Mudaf and Mudafile. Al Mudaris. Kaannaka. So what is Kaannaka, brother? Kaanna min akhwatu. Inna. So Ka is your Ismu Kaanna. Kaannaka, it seems you want to Turidu an takula shayyam, ya Musa. Translation, brother. It seems as if you want to tell me something. Turidu an takula shayyam. Okay. Musa. Nam. What is the verb now? Talakkaitu. Talakka. Are you with me? Talakka. What is the meaning of talakka? To receive. Okay. Talakkaitu. Translation, brother. I received. Huh? To with your file. Al yawma today. Talakkaitu al yawma. Risalatan mafulun bihi. Okay. Min from Walidi. From my father. Walidi. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So what is talakkaitu? Talakka is your <coughs> madi and tu is your fai. Innahu yusallimu alaika. Translation, brother? He, he sends salams to you. Huh? He sends salams to you. Sallama ala is to send salam or to greet somebody. Huh? Innahu yusallimu alaika. <coughs> Mudaris. Alaika wa alayhi salam. To you and to him, my salams. Are you with me? Salam. Greetings. Jazahullahu khairan. May Allah reward him with khair. Iza. Brother, what is Iza? Ismu shart. What kind of adatu shart is this? Gairu jazimin. There will be no jazam here. But our, watch for our jawab. Ismiyatun, talabiyatun, watch for it. Alfau vaakiyatun fi jawabu shat. Okay. Iza katabta alayhi. 
translation by the iza will translate always in the present tense. Huh? Katapta, iza katapta, katapta means you wrote, but here when you write, huh? when you write, iza katapta ilayhi, when you write to him, but the fur has come. Why did fur come? Balig. What is balig? Aman. So it is talab. Huh? It is jawab. And it is talab. Are you with me? That is why fur has come. For balig who? Okay. So convey to him. Balig. Balaga yo balligu. Balaga yo balligu. Balig who? Tahiyati, my greetings. Huh? Convey to him my greetings. Clear, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. So, so what is Balik? Amar. What form? Form 2. Huh? Balaga, you Balik, form 2. Very good, brothers and sisters. Nakr al al hadith. Nakr al hadithan. Yaktubula Sabura. The teacher writes it on the board. He writes it on the board. Ikrahu Ya Osama. Read it, O Osama. Very nice hadith, brothers and sisters. And Uthmana, radiallahu anhu, call. Brother Uthman, our third caliph from Khulafai Rashidi, call Rasulullah. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Khairukum. Huh? The best amongst you. What is it? Khairukum. The best amongst you. Who is best amongst you? Man ta'allam al-Qur'an wa'allamahu. The best amongst you is the one who learns the Qur'an and then teaches it, brother. Whom Allah did Prophet Salawasam address this? Whom did he address this, brothers and sisters? Huh? No, he did not address to us. He addressed to the people around him at that time who already knew the they already knew the what did they know? They already knew the Arabic. Are you with me? Huh? So if you already know the Arabic, then you must study Quran and then teach others. So this hadith is so very important for us, you know, brother sister, but we miss the meaning. So this hadith was addressed to Ashabis huh, around him, to his companions who already spoke perfect Arabic. And it was told to them that you must study Quran and then teach. But then now we take that hadith and we find that it is a very magnificent hadith. But I already have a weakness. And what is my weakness? I don't know Arabic. So brother, if I don't know Arabic, how can I study Quran? You tell me. So I have two responsibilities. What are those? To study the language and then study the Quran. Otherwise, I will not get any benefit out of it. So, brothers and sisters, you study the language so that you can study the Quran very well. And then, how will you teach the Quran? If somebody doesn't know Arabic, then you've got to teach him the Arabic so that he can study the Quran. Can you imagine, Brother Hassan, how Take the responsibilities on us. Huh? They only had to teach the Quran because everybody knew Arabic. Now we have a double responsibility. That we must learn the language of the Quran. And then we must study. Now when you want to teach somebody, then you got to teach them both the things. The language and the Quran. Then the benefit will be maximum. Huh? The benefit will be maximum. Otherwise... The benefit is very marginal, brothers and sisters. I give this hadith a lot of importance, brother. 
I feel it's very important because it puts on our shoulder a greater responsibility as a non-speaking uh, Arabic people, you know, non-speakers of Arabic language. Yeah. Inshallah, you'll ponder over it, huh, brother? But it's very beautiful, beautiful hadith. Khairukum man ta'allam al-Qur'an wa allamahu. Okay, brother? Any verb of our importance? Ta'allam. Fine. Let us analyze. It's a challenge. Khairukum. What is khairu? Mubtada. Wa huwa mudaf. And what is mudaf ilaykum? Where is our khabar? Are you sure? Huh? Are you sure? Yes, you are right. <laughs> you are right. It's beautiful. Huh? Man is your khabar. So what is all this jumla after man? Sillatul mausul, mashallah, mashallah. May Allah bless you all. Huh? And increase us in knowledge. All of us, inshallah. See, now man is your khabar. And then ta'allama is your fail madi. Where is the file? Mustatir taqdiruhu huwa yadullu ala man. It goes to man. And what is al-Qur'ana? Mafulun bihi. Wa allama, allama will again be mautufun ala ta'allama. And who is Qur'an again? Mafulun bihi. Mafulun bihi. Very good, brother. Al-Mudarris. Man Uthmanu radiyallahu anhu ya'li huwa sahabiyun jaleelun. Brother, we always say sahabi. Are you with me? All the time we say he was a sahabi. But it is sahabiyun. What is sahabiyun? One companion. Singular. Jaleelun. Honorable. Magnificent. Distinguished. Wa ahdu Khulafai Rashidina. Rashidina. What is Rashidina? Rightly guided. Huh? Rightly guided. What is Rashidina? Mudafili. More than that? Jama Mudakar. Salim. MashaAllah. Rashiduna. Rashidina. Rashidina. Jama Mudakar Salim. But when the Jama Mudakar Salim comes in a different form, like Mansub and Majrur, we should be able to identify it quickly, inshallah. And you will be able to identify it, inshallah. Usama says, Limaza yukalu lahu. <clears throat> what is the meaning of this? Yukalu is majhul. Limaza why yukalu lahu? Why he is called? What is the meaning of it? Why he is called, what is he called? Dhun Nuraini. Brother, Dhun Nuraini. What is Dhu? You know Dhu, Mudaf. Nuraini. What is Nuraini? Mudaf Ilahi, fine. What is it? Musanna, mashallah, sir. excellent. It is Musanna. Huh? What is marfu form? Nurani. Huh? Nurun. Then Nurani. Then Nuraini. Two. Huh? Dhun Nuraini. Owner of the two lights. Why is he called owner of the two lights? Because he married two daughters of Prophet Wasallam. That is why he has a title. Zun Nuraini. MashaAllah. Liannahu. Brother and sister. Liannahu. Tazawwaja. What is Tazawwaja? Form 5. Madi. Tazawwaja. Bintaini. Mafulun bihi. Bintani. Bintaini. Min banatin nabi. Homa. Those two are. Rukayatu. Wa ummu kulfu min. Radiyallahu an huma. 
Tazawwaja awwalan. But awwalan is zarf. Huh? Okay. Tazawwaja awwalan. Rukaya radiyallahu anha. Wa ba'da wa fatiha. Tazawwaja. Tazawwaja al-ukhra. He married the other. Is it clear, brother? I translate, brother. Liannahu because he married two daughters from the daughters of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They are Rukaya and Ummu Kulsam. Radiyallahu anhum. May Allah be pleased with them. Tazawwaja Avalan. He married first Rukaya. Radiyallahu anha. May Allah be pleased with her. Ba'da wa Fatiha. After her passing away. Tazawajal Ukhra. He married the other. Brother, now comes a verb. Very important verb. And something that a lot of us make mistakes, brother and sister. A lot of us make mistakes. What is the verb, brother and sisters? Tabaffa. What is it, brother and sisters? Tabaffa. Make mudariya. Hmm? Ya tawaffa. What is the meaning of tawaffa? To take one's full share. Huh? That is one meaning. Huh? To take one's share in full. Okay? Or to receive in full. And what is the other meaning that is so very important? Other meaning is God has taken him unto him. What is the meaning, brother? God has taken him unto him. Okay. Now, see, tawaffa, ya tawaffa, and what will be the amar? Tawaffa. You keep that in mind, huh, brother? Tawaffa. What is the Amar, brother? This is your Amar, huh? Al Amar. Tawaffa. Okay, brother? So normally we say, now normally we say, Tawaffa. Look at the way I'm writing, brother. Tawaffa. Who Allahu What is the meaning of it, brother? Tawaffahu Allahu. Where is the verb? Tawaffa. What is who doing here? Wafulun bihi. And what is Allahu? File. Allah has taken him unto him. Are you with me? Or you can say, Tawaffa Allahu Fulanan. Are you with me? What did I say, brothers and sisters? Tawaffa Allahu Fulanan. Let me write down. Write down, brothers and sisters. Tawaffa Allahu what is the meaning of this, brother? That that person passed away. When you hear the news that somebody passed away, what does it mean? Tawaffa Allahu Fulan. You know, that person passed away. Okay, brothers and sisters. Now, Tawaffa, he was made to pass away. What is Tawaffa? He, Allah, made him to die. Huh? Now make it majhul out of this, man. Carefully. Anything before Ain Kalima gets a Dhamma. Okay? 
tu, vu, tu, vu, and then fi, and then ya. Tu, fi, ya. What is the meaning of tu, fi, ya? What did I write down, brother? Tuwufia means mahata. Huh? Okay. When you say tawaffa, huh? Allah took him unto him. Huh? Allah caused him to die. Allah gave him death. Allah gave him death. Are you with me? Allah gave him death. And what is the tuwufia? He was given death. What is it, brothers and sisters? He was given death. Hmm? The wufia means he was given. It means he died. So mata. He di- what is the meaning of mata? He died. The wufia, he died. But when you say tawaffa, then Allah took him unto him. Means Allah made him die. The wufia, he died. So this is something we have to understand. Is it clear, brothers and sisters? Huh? So when you say tawaffa, means Allah. Allah is the one who gave that person death. Okay. Tuwufia. He died. Okay. He was, he was made to die. Okay. But then again, the, where is the... Uh, there is no file here. So from Tawaffahu, so who is your Mafurun Bihi? And in the, this case, who is your Naifai? Are you with me? Who that was Mafurun Bihi became Naifai? Huh? He died. Huh? He was made to die. Who made him to die? It's understood that only Allah can can give death, nobody else. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, can you conjugate this? Tuwufia, tuwufia, and then tuwufu. Huh? Are you with me? Tuwufu. Remember, there's a kasra. Fi will change into fu, tuwufu. And then Tuwu fi yat. What is it? Tuwu fi yat. Now read the sentence. What is the sentence? Mata tuwu fi yat. Rokayatu radiyallahu anha. Are you with me? So what is tuwu fi yat? Tuwu fi ya is your fiel. Madi. Lil majhul. And what is ta? Tao Tani, see, where is Naif file? Rukhaya. When was Rukhaya or when Rukhaya died? What is the translation, brother? When did Rukhaya die? Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Now, before I proceed, the final thing that I want to tell you, brothers and sisters, Tawaffa. Make a some file. Mutawa fin. Huh? Remember that. Huh? Tawaffa file, isam file will be Muta Waf Fin. Are you with me? Mutawa fin. Who is Mutawa fin? Who can be Mutawa fin? Only Allah. Only Allah. Okay. And what will be ism maful? Mutawafan. What will be ism maful? Mutawafan. Mutawaf. How will you write it? Like this. Mutawafan. In short, we say mutawafi. And then mutawafa. But what do people make a mistake? They call the person who died mutawafi. Wo mutawafi tha. 
Mutawaffi is only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A person who died will be called Mutawaffa. See, how can a mistake be made without knowing that a person is make a, making a mistake? And the meaning will be completely different. Mutawaffin is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mutawaffa, or we say mutawaffan, but usually we say mutawaffa, and that is the person who passed away. The dead person. Mutawaffa is the dead person. Are you with me? Remember this, eh, brothers and sisters. This is very important. Now, since we are doing this, let me tell you the verse of the Quran. It is so beautiful, so very, very beautiful, brothers and sisters. Inshallah, you will read it and try to analyze it on your own. Uh, <coughs> brothers and sisters, Rabbana innana samiyana munadiyan Yunadi lil iman. So munadiyay yunadi lil iman. So it is munadiyan. Mafulun bihi. Innana samayna munadiyan. We heard a caller. But we say munadiyay yunadi lil iman. An aminu bi rabbikum. Fa amanna. Rabbana. Now we have believed in you, ya Allah. We know our responsibility. We know your status. Rabbana faghfir lana zunubana wa kaffir anna sayji'atina and what is after that? Have we ever thought what we are saying? Huh? What a beautiful, beautiful verse, brothers and sisters. Huh? What is it? Wa But then look at this verse, brother. Rabbana faghfir lana zunubana. O Allah, O my Rabb, forgive me my mistakes, my sins. Wa kafir anna. Kafir. To erase. Kafir an. Kafir anna sayjiyatina. In my faults, my mistakes. Please erase them. Huh? Are you with me? And then the last prayer, wa tawaffana, tawaffana, wa tawaffana. What is the meaning of tawaffa? Amar. We are all saying faghfir amar, faghfir na zunubana wa kafir amar. And then tawaff, tawaffa, amar again means, O oh Allah, take me unto you in the company of. Righteous people, huh? take me unto you in the company of righteous people. A Muslim is asking for uh, death. Can you imagine anybody asking Allah to give me death? But Muslim knows that his time is written. Huh? His time is fixed. Nobody can forward it or Delayed. Nobody can do that. Okay? So, Rabbana, Fakfir lana zanubana, wa kafir anna sayjiatina, wa tawafa, fialu amrin mabniun ala hadfi harfi illa. Where is the file? Mostatir. Takadiruhu, anta, he's in front of you. Anta, he's listening to you. And what is this na? Mafulun bihi, as. And what is mal abrar? Zarf and mudafilihi. But the abrar, pious people, righteous people. Huh? Okay? What is the singular? Barun is one pious person. Abrar is the plural of bar. See how beautiful the dua is? When we pray and when we read the Quran, does it touch us? Does it touch us, brothers and sisters? Because we don't know the language. And once you know the language, brother, it will make you cry. It will, you know, give you that emotions which are not common. 
They will only come when we understand Quran. Then those emotions will come. So as a Muslim, we are not upset, but we are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make me die with righteous people. When you take me unto you, take me with the people who are pious and righteous. Can there be any better dua in this world, brother? And who can teach this dua? Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, brothers and sisters? So this is all I wanted to explain to you. Okay? When the sentence came, Mata tu fiya ruqayya. So I thought I should explain you the whole thing in detail. Tawaffa maadi mudariya ya tawaffa amar tawaffa and then mutawaffin Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mutawaffa the dead person and tuwufiya is majhul. Meaning of tuwufiya mata. He died. Okay? And mutawaffana maal abarat Tawaffa is fi'al amar, mabniyun ala hazafi, harfi illa, fa'il mustatir, takdiruhu anta, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, na mafulun bihi, ma'a zarf, and al-abrar, mudafilay. Inshallah, you will keep that in mind. What is the answer? Tuwufiyat. What is the meaning of tuwufiyat? Matat. Huh? What will be the meaning of tuwufiyat? Mata. In English, she died. Wa rasulu alayhi salatu wa salamu bi badrin. See? What kind of a vow is this? Vow al hal. While the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was in badr. Okay? Takhallafa al Uthmanu. Takhallafa Uthmanu. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Takhallafa. What kind of a verb is this? Form 5 Mahdi. Uthmanu is? 5. Okay. What is the meaning of takhallafa? He stayed behind. He missed it. Or he stayed behind, you know. Radiyallahu anhu. Anil marakati. What is the meaning of marakati? Battle. He... Stayed behind, or he missed the battle. Bi sababi, for the reason. Maradiha. Maradiha. Because of her illness, he stayed behind. Bi amri Rasulullahi. By the order of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa Is it clear, brother and sister? The meaning is clear? Hmm? وَأَكَامَ بِالْمَدِينَةِ الْمُنَوَّرَةِ And he remained, okay, he remained in Madina. Why did he remain there? يُمَرِّدُهَا يُمَرِّدُهَا مَرَّدَ يُمَرِّدُ What is the meaning of? مَرَّدَ To look after a sick, sick person. Okay, brothers and sisters. To nurse a sick person. Marrada, Jumarridu, Isam Fail. We know Mumarridun. From, from book one, Mumarridun, but at that time we did not know what it was, except that it meant nurse. Huh? But can you imagine how beautiful the language is, brother? How we drive Isam Fail? Brother, when you say Mumarridun, it is a male nurse. And make it into female nurse, Mumarrida. <laughs> the Amarbuta will come. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Alhamdulillah. Walamma raja. What is the meaning of lamma? When? This is Zarfu Zaman, huh, brother? Remember, lamma is also like lam. It gives jazam to mudariya. Remember? Not yet. One meaning of lamma is not yet. And that is associated with lam. Huh? But other meaning of lamma is it's a zarfu zaman. What is the meaning of lamma as a zarf? When. Are you with me? When Raja Rasulullah, when Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam returned. Can you imagine? Huh? The daughter is sick and Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam leaves her and goes to the battle. And she passes away. Huh? And Rasul had no authority to tell Allah 
Huh? Or no influence with Allah. Ya Allah, don't let her pass away till I return. No, brother. Rasul had no control over anything. No control over anything, brother. This is what we have to understand. Okay? He was innamana bashurun mislukum. He was our prophet. Uh, the revelation came to him. He was the messenger of Allah. He was the most pious person in the whole world. Are you with me, brother? Most pious person. Okay? With the best of character. He did not have any supernatural powers. Okay, brothers and sisters. Walamma raja Rasulullah min badrin. When Rasul Salaam returned. Brother, I want you to draw a line after badrin. Draw a line after badrin. Because when you will use lamma as a zarf, then fiel madi must follow. And not one, but two fiel madi must follow. Okay? The first fiel madi, where is it? Raja. Huh? And then when Rasul Salaam returned, then what happened? So this is Jawabu Lam. Another fiel madi. Are you with me? Then this is Jawabu Lamma. So put a line. Because when you will study later on more, and when you will revise this, it will make it easy for you to understand. Inshallah. What is the second fiel madi? Zawwajahu. What is Zawwaja? Madi. Form. What is the meaning of Zawwaja? And Tazawwaja. Zawwaja means, brother and sister, you make someone else marry somebody. Are you with me? Are you with me? You make someone marry. And what is the meaning of Tazawwaja? He married. Huh? He married. Zawwaja, he made someone marry. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Now, look at it, brother and sister. Tazaw Waja will have one mafulun bihi. And Zawwaja will have two mafulun bihi. Are there two mafulun bihi? Are there? Zawwaja who? Who is who here? Who? Uthman radiallahu anhu. Ukhtaha, her sister. Who is? Huh? Who is Hadrat Uthman? Zawajahu huh? Ukhtaha. He married Hadrat Uthman, the sister of Rukhaya. Got the idea? Huh? Okay, brother. Umma Kulthumin. Sister Rukhaya? Uh, Sukhaina? I'm calling you Rukhaya. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Badal, mashallah. See, now you can easily identify. Huh? Ukhtaha. So Umma Kulsam is Mansub. Huh? And where is Mubdal Minhu? Ukhta. Got the idea? Ukhta. Very good. Radiallahu anha. Yarinnal Jarasu. The bell rings. Ranna Yarinnu. Usama. Ghadan. Nazhabu. Nahnu. Brother. Nazhabu nahnu. Can you call nahnu as a file? No, brother. Nahnu is not file. It is used for emphasis. Huh? Where is the file of nazhabu? Mustatir. Taqdiruhu? Nahnu. But this nahnu is not file. It is used for emphasis. Huh? Okay. Ghadan nazhabu nahnu mutafawwikina. Mutafawikina. Now, brother, tell me what this is. Huh? Mutafawikina. It is Jama Muzakkar Salam and it is Mansub here. Yeah. Why it is Mansub, we are going to learn. But what is the verb, brother? Tafawaka. Huh? Yes, to succeed. Huh? To succeed. Huh? Like, like, Najah, like Najah, okay, succeed. Huh? So, Ism file, 
Mutafawikun is the one who is successful. Mutafawikuna and then Mutafawikina. Fine. Illa Makkah, inshallah. Aturidu shayyan min hunaka. Translation, brothers and sisters. I hope you can do it now. Aturidu shayyan min hunaka. Do you want anything from them? There? Do you want anything from there? Uh, no. What is Mudar is saying? Takabbala Allahu umratakum. Translation, brother. May Allah accept your umrah. Takabbala to accept. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Arju an la tansavni fi dawatikum. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Arju an la tansavni. Brother, now you tell me what is this, brothers and sisters? An tansavni. Yes. See, sometimes we are able to translate it uh, with, with ease. I request you not to forget me. Okay. But then we got to analyze. An. Okay. Harfun asmin wa mastarin. Okay. And what is la? This is la nahiya. Mashallah, mashallah. If you could figure out this la nahiya, mashallah. May Allah bless you all. Huh? You are really now getting stronger and stronger. Alhamdulillah. So, brother, you got to describe Tansav. Belun, Mudarion, Majzumun, Bihazfin, Mashallah. Now, tell me the whole verb with the, in the marfu form. Tansavna, Mashallah. What is Anta? Tansa, yans, nasia. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Nasia, yansa. Make it anta, tansa. Now let us conjugate. Tansa, tansayani, tansauna. In our mind, we can do it. Tansauna, and make it now tansauna majzum. Tansau, tansau. We drop the. Noon, okay? And then this noon, tansav ni is nunu vikaya. And ya, mutakallam, is mafulun bi. But then where is the file? Wow, is the file. Mashallah, mashallah. Fi the awati kum, in your prayers. The awatun, what is the singular? The awatun. Write down the singular, brothers and sisters. Da'watun. Uh, this is the singular. Are you with me, brother and sister? This is the plural. Got the idea, brother and sister? Inshallah. I request you not to forget me in your prayers. Alhamdulillah. Now we got to understand why this Mutafawwikina is mansub. Why? But it is coming later on and we will study inshallah. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters, we move forward. We already did our fials, which was number three. Number four, we did it. Page 174. Huh? Now we come to five. What is number five? To fear. Bil binai lil majhul. It is the fail majhul. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Is the construction of fail majhul. What is the meaning of it? Mata. Wasmul mafuli minhu. Ismu maful. What did I say, brothers and sisters? Mutawafan. Got the idea? Is a maful is mutawafan. Now I already explained you in detail. So we have already done this, inshallah. Tamalilam silata. Libab tafala. Ayin fiha madi mudarya amar and master. Isam file, isam maful, and isam 
Makan. Okay, but this is a very beautiful exercises. You will point out everything. Is it Madi? Is it Mudaria? Form form five. Huh? From form five, you will point out is it Madi? It is Mudaria. Amr, Isam File, Isam Maful, Isam Makan, and Master. What is the first one, brothers and sisters? Ana Mutazab Vijun. So what is Mutazab Vijun? Isam File. What is the translation? Ana Mutazab Vijun? I'm married. Sister Naima, how will you say yourself? Ana Mutazab Vija Tun. MashaAllah, we must remember, inshallah, that I'm married. Uridu an atahaddatha ilayka fi mawdu'in muhimmin. Translation, brother. I want to speak to you huh? in a very important matter or subject. Are you with me, brother and sister? A very serious matter or serious <laughs> subjects. So what is atahaddasa? Mudariya mansu. Karda. Number third, brother and sister. Atakallamu. What is the meaning of atakallamu? I speak. Okay, what do you speak? Salasa logatin. I speak three languages. Got the idea? What is salasa? Mafulun bihi mudaf mudafilei. Okay, brother, number four. Lam atalakka risalatan. Only translate this. Lam atalakka risalatan. I did not receive a letter. I did not receive a letter min ahli from my family mundhu shahrin since one month aw aksara. Are you with me? Or more than that. So, atalakka, what is atalakka? Failun mudariyun majzumun wa alamatu jazmihi hazfu harfi illa. Very good, brother. This is a, one of the most beautiful proverbs in Arabic language. Huh? Very beautiful proverb, brother. Fit ta'anni salamatu. What is the meaning of it? Salamatu means safety. Huh? Ta'anni. Ta'anna, ya ta'anna. To do things very carefully, very slowly, deliberately, cautiously. Huh? So what is ta'anni here? Fit ta'anni? Master. Master. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. May Allah bless you. Sister Sukhaina and all of us. Ta'anni is your master. See, when Alif Lam came, the Ya became visible. So what is the meaning of fit ta'anni? In being cautious or in deliberation huh? or in doing something very carefully. And slowly, are you with me, brothers and sisters? What is in doing something very carefully and slowly? There is a safety. Huh? There is a security in there when you do things carefully and slowly. You are cautious. Then there is a there is a safety there. What feel? Ajalati and fill ajalati in doing things hurriedly. What is it, brother? And nadamat. If you do things very fast, regrets. What is it? It results in problems, regrets. Okay. So what is fin fitani? Jar majur shibu jumla khabar. Where is the Muftada, as-salamatu. Okay. And again the same thing. Fil ajalati, an-nadamatu. Huh? When you drive your car carefully, you are safe. When you rush, 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 then problem will come and you will be sorry for it. Al-ana tazakkartu Ismahu. Al ana tazakkartus mahu. What is the meaning? Now I 
remembered his name. Huh? So this is Mahdi. Huh? Badasan, now I remembered his name. Right. Hawala lisu. What is Hawala? Tried. What is the meaning of Hawala? To try. Huh? Form, form three. Form three. Hawala lisu. What is lisu? Brother? Thief. Thief. Huh? Dukhul al bayti, entering the house. The thief tried entering the house. How did he try to enter the house? Be tasalluki. What is tasalluki? Climbing. A master. It's master. What is the verb? Tasallaka, to climb. Huh? Tasallaka, huh? to climb, brother. To scale, to ascend. Huh? Al jidar. Be tasalluki jidari by climbing the wall. By climbing the wall. Brother, what is the next one? What is the next one, brother and sisters? Ta'alaw. Amar, mashallah. Amar. From which form? Form form six. Now where is the file? Wow. wow. So it is antum. All of you. Ta'alaw. Fellow Amrin. Mabniun ala. Hadhafi. Noon. Hadhafi noon. Okay. Fine. So this is your Amar. And what is the next one, brother and sisters? Natagadda. Mudharia. What kind of a mudharia is this? Are you sure? Is it majizum? If it is majizum, then you got to tell me why. Mashallah, mashallah. Talab and jawabu talab. Okay? Are you with me, Sister Nasri? Talab. This is talab. Amar. So what is the jawabu talab? Natagadda. Well, how will you define Natagadda? Felun, Mudarion, Majzumun, B, Hadafi, Harfi, Illa. Fail, Mustatir, Takdiru, Nainu. And this is Fail, Mudaria, is a Majzum, and it is Jawabu Talab. Now you can insert the Shart. In. In. In, then tell me, brothers and sisters. How will you insert the shart? In, okay, I write, wrote down in. What did you say? Ah, mashallah, mashallah. In, tata, ah, lao. Again, I will drop the noon. Actually, it is tata, ah, Lavna, I will drop the noon. In tata a lau. What is the meaning of in tata a lau? If you come, what will happen if you come? We'll have the lunch. Are you with me? So when you insert the shart, then natagadda becomes jawabu huh? shart. And if you don't put this shart, then Natagadda, brothers and sisters, is your Jawabu Talab. Are you with me, Sister Mamuna, inshallah? But this idea of inserting a shark gives a little more emphasis. Huh? Okay, look at the sentence. Ta'alaw, come. In ta'alaw, Natagadda. If you come, we then have the lunch. Are you with me? So both ways it will be correct. But as it is, ta'alaw is fellow amar, denotes ta- talab, and natagadda is majzum because it is jawabu talab, inshallah. Another nice sentence, brother. Ata'asha. What is the meaning of ata'asha? I take my supper. Huh? Ata'asha, I eat my supper. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? No, what is this? Something new has come. Buaida. What is this? Sister Nasri? Huh? 
Uh, what is this? Very interesting. Uh, watch for it, brothers and sisters. Let me write down here now. I'm running space, out of space on the board. Brother, Nahrun, make it into Ismutasi. Nohairun, Fuailun, remember? Huh? Abdun, Ubaid. Huh? Okay? Nuhairun. Abdun, Ubaid. Are you with me? Bada. What is the meaning of Buaid? Very soon. Soon after. Are you with me? Bada Buaida. Why Buaida? Can anybody tell me why Buaida? Because it is Zar. Because it is Zar. Okay. Now since we are doing Bada, we can also do. What will you do now? Kabla means Kubail. What will you say? Kubai la. Remember it is zarf. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Write it down. Okay. Same bada and kabla, the meaning is same. But when you say boai then kubail, shortly after or shortly before. Are you with me? So how will you translate this? Uh, sister Naima, how will you translate this, Sister Naima? Ata Asha Buaida Salatil Maghrib. Soon after Salatil Maghrib. Right after Salatul Maghrib. You know? Shortly after Salatul Maghrib. That will be the meaning. Okay? Let us, let us analyze. Ata Asha Fialun. Mudariun, marfuun, wa alamatu rafaihi, addammatu mukaddara. File, mustatir, takadiruhu, ana. And what is buaida? Zarf. What is it? Zarf. Okay. And what is salati? Mudafili. Wa huwa muda. And maghribi? Mudafili. Got the idea, brother and sister? Inshallah. Okay. Now again, the same thing has come. Nahnu. Nahnu. Warasatu. Mutawaffa. Mutawaffa. Al Mutawaffa. Ism maf'ul, mashallah. Nahnu is your Mubtada. And where is the khabar? Varasatu. The one, we are the heirs of the diseased. Huh? We are the heirs of the departed person. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? We are the inheritors. Okay. Mutawaffa. So what is mutawaffa? Isam maf'ul. The person who died. Fine, brothers. Very good, brothers and sisters. Number 11. What is number 11, brothers and sisters? A mutawaddiyun anta is file. Translation. Are you in Urdu? Yes, mashallah. A mutawaddiyun anta. A mutawaddiyun anta. We ask somebody when the time comes for salah. A mutawaddiyun anta. Are you with Wudu? Okay. So it's some file. Brother. What is the verb? Tawadda'a. Remember, huh? Tawadda'a. Fine, very good, brother. Hadihi al hadikatu, hadihi mubtada. Al hadikatu badal. And mutanaffasu. Mutanaffasu. Ahl al madinati. That is ismu makan, brother. What is it? Ismu makan. What is the verb? Tanafasa. What is the meaning of tanafasa? To breathe. To breathe. 
Okay? So, when you make it into Ismu Makan, what is the meaning? It is a, it is a breathing fire. What? Well, you go out in the garden to do what? To breathe fresh. <laughs> so, in other words, Sister Sukhaina, in other words, you go to go to the Edward Garden to relax. Are you with me? To unwind. Huh? You are tired. Now you want to relax and unwind yourself. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? You you go there for fresh air. Okay. So then, Mutanafas is the place of relaxation. So Hadil Hadikatu. Huh? We, you have to go to Edward Garden, brother, on weekends and see how many people are there and walking up and down. They're all relaxing. Huh? So it's a place of relaxation, unwinding. For whom? People of the city. People of the city. Huh? Are you with me? Is it clear? This garden is a place of relaxation. For the people of the city. Very good, brother. Akhirijul jamiyat al-islamiyati. Brother, A is Habdatul istifab. Khiriju. What is the meaning of khiriju? Graduate. Write it down. Graduate. Are you the graduate of Islamic University? Akhirijul Jamiyat al Islamiyati Anta, are you? Naam. So, Khirij, brother and sister, means Khirijun, Khirijun, graduate. Okay, brother. What is the next one? Takharrajtu. What is the meaning of Takharraja? To graduate. I graduated. Takharrajtu. Okay. See, Khirijun is most commonly used for graduate. There is another word. You can make it from Takharraja, which will be Mutakharrijun. Are you with me? From Takharraja, he graduated. So what will be the ism file of Takharraja? Mutakharrijun. But usually, Khirijun is used. Okay? Naam, Takharrashtu, في كلية اللغة العربية عام ألف وأربعمائة. Are you with me, brother? Lil Hijri. Translation, brother. Are you graduate of the Islamic University? Yes, I graduated in the Faculty of Arabic Language in the year fourteen hundred Hijri. Qala ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, what did he say? Wa tawakkal. Okay, rely, depend. What is the verb? Tawakkala, ya tawakkalu. Tawakkal, amar. Brothers and sisters, tawakkal, amar. There is a file. Mustatir. Takadiruhu. Anta. Who is this Anta? Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah is addressing Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Oh Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Depend. Alal Hayyi. Alal Hayyi. Depend on the alive. Who? La Yamut. Who never dies. Are you with me? Depend on the alive. Are you with me? al hayji Okay? Or you can say, brother and sister, depend on the living. Depend. Put your trust on the living. The one who never dies. La huh? Yamutu. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Okay. One more. The last one. Fatalaka Adamu Mirabbihi Kalimatin. See, when uh, Adam alayhi salam made a mistake and he repented, 
then Allah in his mercy forgave him okay but before Allah forgave him Allah taught Adam the dua okay and then Allah Adam recited that dua Allah accepted the prayers and he was forgiven so what is this brothers sisters fatalaka adamu translation brother Adam received from whom did he receive the rabbihi and what did he receive kalama kali ma then why it is thin brother is it majrur jama monasali ha huh? it is it is mafulun bihi what is it brother and sisters mafulun bihi fatalaka okay talaka adamu mir rabbihi kalimatin okay and this is the dua tawaf brother in this dua there is so much intensity inshallah we'll learn huh la nakunanna every word has a meaning and a purpose huh la why this la what this la is coming and what is this la nakunanna why what kind of a noon is this brother we have to learn this such a beauty and eloquence and sometimes i say magic in those words you know if you understand it will remember my words brother sister it will melt your heart huh? it will bring tears to your eyes inshallah only when we understand inshallah huh? so you got it brother and sisters okay now let us take a tea break huh? and then we'll come back Brothers and sisters, we are back from our break. Uh, Sister Arifa, Jazakillahu Khairan. May Allah bless you and your family with barakats for your generosity. You treated the class with beautiful, shall I say, brunch <laughs> with uh, bagels and cheese and olives and wow, that was. I think everybody. Uh, loved it and enjoyed it jazakallah jazakallah sister okay brothers and sisters from form 2 onwards there are different characteristics of the verbs you know okay one of the characteristics of form 5 that it is al mutawatu then read the key brothers and sisters i want you to read it very slowly and i want to explain to you what is the meaning of this al mutawatu If you say al mutawatu that is the master al mutawatu it's written in the key brothers and sisters huh? what is the verb tawa what is the verb tawa okay what is the meaning of tawa to obey to consent okay so obeying and consenting is the meaning of al mutawatu but really what does it mean but the meaning in grammar is what i wrote it down the meaning in grammar what is the meaning in grammar a verb in the active voice but with a passive voice meaning in another form of the same verb you got to read this two three times this sentence and try to understand ha huh? that mutawa is a verb in active voice okay but with a passive meaning in another form of the same verb okay keep that in mind brothers and sisters that is one thing Doctor Sahib is explaining in a different way now. This bab denotes mutawa, which means that the object of a verb becomes the subject. This is what is happening. The object object becomes the subject. Huh? Okay, brother and sister. Zawajani. Abi Zainab. 
So what is Zawwaja? What is Zawwaja? Form two. It has two mafulun bihi. Where is the first mafulun bihi? Ya. Huh? And other mafulun bihi is Zainab. Where is the five? Abu, mashallah. Now you bring this into form five. So Zawwaja will become Tazawwaja. And you give Abu Chuti. Huh? Drop him out. So Ya Mutakalam will become the file. Means one of the mafulun bihi will become file. So how will you how will you say now, brothers and sisters? Okay. Tazawajtu Zainaba. Huh? What happened, brother? Zawajani became Tazawajtu. Huh? So you change that thing in form five. Okay? And you drop the file. And Mafulun Bihi became the file. This process is called Mutawatu. What is it called? Mutawatu. Okay. You will have to read this passage two, three times, huh, brothers and sisters. So there is a special relationship between form two and form five. Are you with me? And form one and form seven. Huh? This kind of relationship exists in form one and seven. Okay. Now here, Dr. Sahib is explaining, my father married me to Zainab. Here my father is the subject. There are two objects, me and Zainab. Now if Bab Tafa'ala is used, huh, I become the subject. Ya Mutakalam becomes the subject. And Zainab becomes the object. And my father has no role at all. Okay? He's no longer there now. Fine. Another example, brother. Allamani Bilalun As-Sibah. Brother, Sibah is swimming. Huh? Are you with me, brother and sister? Allamani. What is Bilalun? Five. Are you with me? Bilalun is five. So now we, we leave him out. We drop him. So what will you say now? Ta'allamtu sibaha. I learned the sibaha. Bilal taught me swimming. Now I say I learned the swimming. What is this process called? Mutawa. Okay. Now I have written here, brothers and sisters, few things extra. Okay. See. Kassartu zujaja. What did I write? Kassartu zujaja. What is the meaning of kassartu zujaja? I smashed the glass into pieces. So what became of the glass? Takassar zujaju. The glass broke into, smashed into many pieces. But the, what happened to two? It went away. Zujaja, bafulumbi. It became fire. So this process is called mutawatu. Means, you know, the verb agrees or accepts. Okay? Mutawi'un. Tava'a. Tava'a is the verb. And mutawi'un is your ismu file. Huh? Tava'a, you can also write down. It has this meaning also. What is the meaning, brother? Ata'a. To obey. Huh? Okay? It has this meaning also. There are many mean, meanings, ta'ava'a, but one meaning is ata'a also. To obey, to consent. Okay? Now, brothers and sisters, this belongs to form 2 and form 5. Now, fatahtul baba. Huh? Fatahtul baba. Meaning of fatahtul baba. I open the door. Now you see, we bring Fataha into form 
from 7. Okay? And 2 is dropped. And al-ba'aba, which is mafulun bihi, becomes 5. So what will you say? In fatahal babu. Are you, what is the meaning of in fatahal babu? The door opened. Who opened it? That is not mentioned. Okay. In other words, in fatahal babu gives the meaning of passive voice. Are you with me? It gives the meaning of passive voice. Same way, takassara zujaju, the glass broke into, smashed into pieces. But who broke it? So, so in other words, there is a meaning of passive voice in this. Okay, But it is not passive voice. It is not passive voice. Al-Babu is file. Al-Dujaju is file. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So now read this sentence carefully. A verb in active voice. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? A verb in active voice. This is active voice. This is active voice. Are you with me? The verb in active voice with a passive meaning in another form. It gives passive meaning in another form huh? of the same verb. Are the same? Are the verbs same? Uh, the root it is same. Huh? What is the root, brother? Kaf, sin, ra. Kaf, sin, ra. Here, fa, ta, ha. Here, fa, ta, ha. So it means this mutawa. What is in mutawa, brother? That you have a verb in active voice, but when you change into a different form of the same verb, different form of the same verb, and it will give you the meaning of passive. Are you with me? So this process is called al-mutawa. Okay. If you write down this thing and keep it in your file, in your notes, brothers and sisters, Inshallah, if you do not get 100% now, don't worry. It took me a little while to really understand it fully. Okay. Inshallah, if you revise it two, three times, you will get it. Look at this, brother. Allam tuhu. Translation. Allam tuhu. I taught him. I taught him. So what happened? Fata'allama. He learned. Are you with me? What is the meaning of this? Allamtuhu fa ta'allama. Is it the same verb? Yes. Ain la mim. Ain la mim. That is the root. So they are from the same form of verbs, you know. Same verb. Okay. Zavashtuhu. What is the meaning of zavashtuhu? I married him. Okay? So what happened? Fatazavvaja. So he married. Are you with me? So two in both cases got dropped. And the, from form two, it went to form five. Are you with me? Form two to form five. Now, akhartuhu. What is the meaning of akhartuhu? Akhara. To delay someone. Akhartuhu. Huh? I delayed him. So what happened? So he was late. The akhara. So do you see the relationship between these things? Huh? And what is this called? al mutawatu huh? So like they agree. Huh? There is a kind of an agreement between these two verbs. Uh, how do they agree? That the file from this is dropped. And then mafulun bihi becomes the file. That's it. Uh, that's what the key will explain you. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? The file from the verb will be dropped. And the mafulun bihi will become the file in the other form. And which will convey the meaning of passive voice. Uh, brothers and sisters, if you say, 
Takassarat zujaju. Tell me what does it mean? The glass smashed into pieces. Who smashed it? See, that's, that gives you the meaning of passive voice. We don't know. Okay? But again, it is not passive. Huh? Because in passive voice, you have knife file. There is no knife file here. Fatahtul Baba. What is the meaning of Fatahtul Baba? I opened the door. Okay. Now you say, in Fatahal Babu, the door opened. So in both cases, what happened, brothers and sisters? Uh, in the first form, there was a file, which got dropped. And the mafulun bihi in the, became the file in the other form. Is it clear, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. When you will read it with these examples, Inshallah, you'll find it, that it makes sense. It's very logical. And if you hear this word, al mutawatu it should not scare you. <laughs> what is the meaning of al mutawatu That the file in one form is dropped, and the mafulun bihi, and that form becomes a file in the other form of the same verb. Huh? See, allama ta'allama. Same, okay? Are you, fataha in fataha. It is same verb, okay? Okay? Zawwajtu tazawwaja. Akhartu ta'akhara. Are you with me? The verbs are in the same form, okay? Form 2, form 5. Form 2, form 5. Form 2, form 5. So there is a relationship. And the same thing will again come when we do form 7, in which it will be the relationship of this kind. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Keep that in mind, so that whenever it comes, you are not, uh, you know, taken off surprisingly. You, you do not get uh, scared, you know. It will make sense to you, brother. Okay, brother, we start with number 7 now. Huh? We start with number seven, brothers and sisters. Page number. I have a different book. You have a different book. One, one seventy-five. Ya juzu hafu ehda taini min tafa Allah. Okay, brother. Tafa Allah. Make mudaria. Ya tafa alu. Okay. Now. Brother and sister, five in your pocket. Huh? Are you with me? Tatafa alu. Tatafa alu. In fact, wherever ta comes, okay, especially the ta will come in mukhatab. Are you with me? When the ta comes twice, it is sometimes difficult to pronounce. So what happens? You drop one ta. It comes in the Quran. And we have never known this thing. Now we will understand. Okay? If there are two ta's in this bab, and it will also happen in form six, then you will drop one ta. Why are you dropping it? To make the pronunciation a little lighter. Takhfif huh? for lightness. Okay? Tanazzalul malaikatu wa ruhu. What is tanazzalul? Huh? This is form 5. Pardon? Tanazzalu? The Madi is Tanazzala. How can it become Tanazzulu? Is there a typo? No. It's a Mudarya. What is the Mudarya? Tatanazzalu. So there were two Ta's. So one Ta was dropped to make it lighter on, in pronunciation. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fine. Fala. Tajassasu. Okay? And do not spy on others. Okay? Do not be nosy on others, you know? Do not snoop on others. Okay? So what will be the... Fala tajassasu. What is this tajassasu? This is la nahiya. This is fail mudariya majzum. But then tajassasu, there is no such word. Huh? So what is the verb? Tatajassasu. What is it? Tatajassasu. So two ta's. Huh? 
Madi cannot become Majjum with La Nahiya. So it is Tata Jasasu. Huh? What happened to two Tas? One of them got drawn. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? That's it. You will keep that in mind, inshallah. Tamalil Misal Summa Akmil Nakis. Okay. Now, here, the Misal of Al Mutawa'atu is given. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? We already uh, studied it. Huh? So, the Vajni Abi Binta Ammi. Translation, brothers and sisters? My fa- father married me to the daughter of my uncle. Correct, brother and sister? Zawwaja is verb. Nunu vikaya. Ya mutakulam mafulun bihi. And abu is your file. Mudaf. Mudaf ilehi. Binta is mafulun bihi number two. Did I say ya mutakulam mafulun bihi number one? Yes. Huh? And ammi. Binta, mafulun bihi number two, wa huwa mudaf, ammi mudaf ilayhi, wa huwa mudaf, and ya mutakallim, finally, mudaf ilayhi. Fine. So now, ponder over the example. What happened? Tazaw vashtu, binta ammi. So what happened to the abhi? Dropped. Huh? So what happens? This is what, just we discussed this now. Okay, brother and sister. Allamani zamili al-lughatal yabaniyata. Translation, brother. My colleague taught me the Japanese language. Now change it, brother. Ta'allamtu al-lughatal yabaniyata. I got the idea. What is this process called? Al-mutawatu. So just remember that, inshallah. Lamma Raja'a. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Lamma Raja Rasulullah min Badri. Zawwajahu. Ukhtaha. Umma kulthumin. Hada. Lamma alhiniyatu. What is alhiniyatu? Azzamaniyatu. Or you can say in English, Edward of time. Or we can say Zarfu Zaman. What is it, brothers and sisters? Lama here is Zarfu Zaman. Okay. The dog sab is mentioning, brother. Wahiya Zarfu Zamanin. Tahtasu bil Mahdi. Brother, it is specialized for, reserved for Mahdi. Huh? It pertains to Mahdi. Wa Yakunu Jawabuha Fialan Mahdian. And the jawab will be also fear mahdi. Keep that in mind, brother. Nahu. Lamma samiyatul adhana. Put a line, brother. Put a line. Huh? Draw a line. So where is the first mahdi? Samiyatul. Huh? Now comes the jawab. When I heard the azan, what did I do? Tawaddatu. What is the meaning of tawaddatu? I made wudu. But tawajjahatu ila al-masjid. And I went straight directly to the masjid. I went in the direction of the masjid. Okay. Lamma vasalna ila makkah. Okay. Put a line, brother. So now comes the jawab. And jawab should also have a mahdi. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Two fiel mahdi will come with lamma. Asra'ana. What is the meaning of Asra'ana? What is the fear? Form? Form 4. Huh? Asra'a. What is the meaning of Asra'a? To hurry, to rush, huh? to speed up. Huh? So, when we reached Makkah, what did we do? We hurried. Huh? Where did you hurry to? Ila. Baitillahi al-haram. We rush to the Masjid al-haram. Okay? Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Alhamdulillah. Now, in the Quran, brother, fi tanzili, fi kissati Ibrahima, alayhi salam, falamma ra'al kamara baadigan, 
Put a line now. Huh? So where is the first fail Mahdi? Ra'a. Huh? What is the second fail Mahdi? Kala haza rabbi. He said, this is my Rabb. Are you with me? So this is Lamma, the use of Lamma. And it is Lamma is Zarfu Zaman. And in the grammar it is called Lamma al Hiniyatu. Okay? Al Zamaniyatu. Huh? It denotes time. Make sure we understand the difference between Zarfu Zaman, Lamma, and Lamma means not yet. And that will make the fail Mudarya Majisum. With this Lamma, Madi will come. Inshallah. Keep that in mind, brother and sister. Ghadan, Ghadan, Nazhabu, Nahnun, Mutafawwikina. Huna, Al Mutafawwikina, Mansubun, Alal, Ikhtisas. Brother and sisters, what is Ikhtisas? What is, this is Masta, what is the verb? Huh? Ikhtassa. Huh? Ikhtassa. Yakhtassu. Okay, but then let us go to the key. Because Dr. Sam, inshallah, has explained it very beautifully. Okay. Page 88. Number 3. The word nahnu, we, sometimes needs specification. For example, نَحْنُ tulaba. We, the students. See, now you are specializing yourself. You are distinguishing yourself. Huh? You are self apart from the rest. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? نَحْنُ tujara. Brother, نَحْنُ tujara. Why tujara is mansu? Huh? We, the merchants. Again, brother, Nahnu, are you with me, brothers and sisters? Nahnu, Muslimina. Nahnu, Muslimina. Are you with me? Nahnu, Muslimina. Okay. Why Muslimina? But that doesn't make any sense. That it should be Muslimina. We should say Nahnu, Muslimuna. Okay. Nahnu, Muslimuna. But it is Muslimina. This process is called al What is the meaning of al Distinguishing. Uh, setting it apart. Uh, singling out something. Okay. As you can see, this noun is mansub because it is mafulun bihi of a supposed verb. Uh, there is a verb which is supposed to be there before that. And what is that verb? Akhussu. What is it, brother and sister? What is akhussu? Fehlun. Mudarion. Marfun. Bidamma. Where is the file, sister Madina? Failun. Mustatirun. Takadiruhu. Ana. Mashallah, mashallah. So, what is the meaning of? You say nahnu. Are you with me? Huh? Nahnu. And then there is a verb. What is that verb? Akhussu. Means I mean. Okay? Nahnu. I mean we, the students, you know? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So what is the meaning of Akhussu? I specify. Underline it, brothers and sisters. And I mean. Huh? The, the Al Muslimina became mansub because of the verb akhussu. Are you with me? That is the reason. Okay? And this process is called ikhtisas. Specializing or distinguishing them. Okay? Singling them out. Okay? Nahnul hunuda. What is the meaning of nahnu? Hunuda. Why hunuda? We the Indians, the Kalamu, Iddata Lugatin. We the Indians uh, speak number of languages. What is the next one? Nahnu, Muslimina, 
La na'kulu lahm al We do not eat pork meat. We, the Muslims, we, I mean, the Muslims, so I mean, I specify, is understood to be there. And that is the why you will always have but it will only come with nahnu or it can come with ana. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? But mostly it will come with nahnu. It will come with nahnu, brothers and sisters. Hmm? Next one, brother, sister, look at the verb. Look at the sentence, brothers and sisters. Nahnu talabata. See, talabata. We the students. And then, mutafawikina. What is the meaning of mutafawikina? We the successful students. Are you with me? We the outstanding students. Hasalna ala jawais. Receive the prizes. Okay. Here is another nice sentence. Nahnu varasatal mutawaffa. Tell me what is the meaning of varasatal mutawaffa. Varasata. Inheritors. It's mansu. Why it is mansu? Ahusu. The verb is ahusu. Nahnu varasatal mutawaffa nuwafiku nuwafiku ala zalik. Agree on that. Wafaka. Form form three. Wafaka. Juwafiku nuwafiku. Form three. Brother and sister. نحن ورثة المتوفى نوافق على ذلك. We the heirs of the disease agree to that. Huh? Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah, it is beautifully explained. Alhamdulillah, by Doctor Sahib, and it makes things very clear. So we can go back to our lesson. Kadan nazhabu nahnul mutafawikina huna. Al-mutafawikina mansubun ala al-ikhtisas. Okay? Ala al-ikhtisas. Specialization. Okay? Wa huwa maf'oolun. It is maf'oolun. Lil-fail akhussu. Wa hadha al-fail wajib hasfi. It must be dropped. It cannot be written. It is always mazuf. Okay? Wa yati al-maksusu li bayani maksudi bi damir. Nah. Huh? And this act of specialization comes to clarify what is aimed at by Damir. By Damir. Are you with me? What is this Damir, brother? Nahnu. Nahnu is your Damir, okay? This specialization, okay? Maksus. What is maksus, brother and sister? What kind of a word is maksus? If I say akhusu, are you with me all? If I say akhusu, what is madi? Khassa. What is a madi? Khassa ya khusu. Okay? From khassa, this is very interesting, brother. Inshallah, you will like it. Huh? Khassa. What is it, brothers and sisters? Khassa. Okay. Okay. To single out or to specialize. What is mudarya? Ya khussu. Now tell me, what is ism file? What is ism file? Ism file. Kha sisun. What is it? Kha sisun. You know? Kha sa sa. Kha sisun. But we don't say kha sisun. What do we say? Hajaja. Hajaja. Ha jun. So kha sa sa. Kha sun. What is the ism file, brother and sisters? Khas, special, particular. Huh? Particular. This is a very common word, khas. Huh? 
Hazal Shayu Khasun. This is a special thing. This thing is a special. Haza, uh, you can say, Haza Shayun Khasun or Hazal Shayu Khasun. This thing is particular, special. Fine, brother and sister. Now, make Isam Maf'ul. Maksus. See, how did you get Maksus? From? Khasasa. Maksus. Mak Susun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Maksusun. Got the idea? We've got to think like that. Huh? Inshallah. Fine. So, yatil maksusu li bayani maksud. Maksud means aimed at. Huh? Also, ism maful from kasada. Kasada. Huh? damir by damir, and it is what is it, brother and sister? Nahwa, for example, nahnu. That is your damir, brother. And what is it? What is that maksus? Al muslimina la nakhafu illallah. What is the meaning of this, brother and sister? We, uh, the Muslims, we do not fear anybody except Allah. Huh? So we specialize ourselves. We single out ourselves. Okay, brothers and sisters. Nahnu tulabal mahadi. We, the students of the uh, institute, naskunu fil mahjil awwal. We, the special, huh, but we are the students of this uh, institute. We live in the first dormitory. Fil hadith. Now, this is very important hadith, brother and sister. Fi hadith is sharif. Huh? What is the hadith? Inna. Now, brother, I said inna. So, where is ismu inna? Na. But then, why it is mahashara? Akhussu. <laughs> why? It became mansub because of? Huh? It became because of akhussu. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So, in na is harfu tawkid wa nasb, and na is mu inna. Okay. Mansubun. And now the jumla failure comes. But the fail is mazuf. Akhussu. But we cannot write that. It is always mazuf. And now, what is this, brother? Maf'ulun bihi for the verb. Akhussu. Ma'ashara. What is the meaning of ma'ashara? The group or the party. And brother and sister? Or the jamaat. Okay? Ma'ashara is the group or party or jamaat. Of what? Ambiyai. We, the jamaat of ambiyas. Okay? The prophets. We, truly we, the party of the prophets. All the prophets. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was one of them. So he's saying, we, the group of prophets. Okay, what about you? La nurasu. What is the meaning of nurasu? Huh? This is one has to understand. Huh? Okay. And sister, I will write down. What is the verb? Varisa. What is the mudariya, brothers and sisters? Varisa. What will the mudariya? Yarisu. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, Yarisu, what is the meaning of Varisa? To inherit. Huh? To inherit. What is Yarisu? He inherits. Okay. Now make Yarisu into Majuhul. Yurasu. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Yurasu. 
Five in your pocket. Yu rasu, tu rasu, tu rasu, u rasu, nu rasu. So what is the meaning of nu rasu, nu rasu? We are inherited. We are inherited. Varasa is to inherit. Burisa, he was inherited. Nu rasu, we are being inherited. Okay, but what is it? La nu rasu. We are not inherited. Are you with me? We are not inherited. Means, if the prophets leave any property, eh, it cannot be inherited by anybody. It goes all of it to sadaka. Are you with me? That is the meaning of it. But what a strong statement, brother. Okay? Whatever the prophets leave, it is for the sadhaka. That is the meaning of it. Okay, brother and sister. In na maashana lambiyai, we, the special, the singled out group, brother and sisters of ambiya, la nu rasu. We are not inherited. Means there is nobody who will claim inheritance. Nobody inherits us. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. So remember the verb is nu rafu. Nu rafu. And it is coming from varisa, yarisu, and yu rafu. Huh? Write it down, brothers and sisters, so that you have something to fall back when you are revising. Inshallah. Imlail, Imlail Firaga Fimayati Bi Maksus Munasib. Fill the blanks, brothers and sisters, in what follows by Maksus, by specializing. Okay. Nahnu, what will you say? Nahnu Tullaba. Because the verb is there, okay? Ahusu, Nahnu Tullabal Mahadi, we the students of the institution, Nadrusu Sabahan Mamasaan. Translation, brothers and sisters, we the students of the institute study morning and evening. Morning and evening. Okay, brothers and sisters, we the special designated. Students of the institute, we study morning and evening. Yeah. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Next one, brother, what will you say? Nahnu Muslimina. Or will you say, you can also say, Nahnu Mominina, the believers. Huh? La Nushriku Billahi Shayyan. We, the believers, we, the Muslims, uh, we do not associate anything with Allah. Are you with me, brother? La nushriku billahi shayyan. We do not associate anything with Allah. Brothers and sisters, tamrinu shafiviyun yati kulla talibin bi misali ikhtas mustamilan ismal mansuban ila baladin. You know, you will use this uh, process of iktisas uh, by describing to your country. Uh, by ascribing yourself to your country. Nahnu al da. Nahnu al yaba nina. Are you with me? Nahnu al yaba nina. Nahnu al afarika. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So all these things became mansub after Nahnu. Is it clear, brothers and sisters? Inshallah, you will remember it. Hati mudariya, ala falil atiya. Brothers and sisters, ballaga yuballigu. 
توجہ یا توجہ تجسس یا تجسس اسرع یسرع ارے وتنی بدن سسٹرز بزغا یا بزغ ہاں وٹ از دی مینی اف بزغا ٹو کم اؤٹ ہاں ٹو ڈان ٹو بریک فورتھ اوکے بدن سسٹرز اور یو کین آلسو سی ٹو بیکم ویزیبل بزغا یا بزغ ٹو بیکم ویزیبل ٹو کم اؤٹ اوکے ہاتھی مفرد بدن سسٹرز وٹ از دی مفرد خلفاء وٹ از دی مفرد خلیفہ تن خلیفہ تن اوکے بدن وراثتن از آلسو جمع وٹ از مفرد وریثن وریثن رائٹ ڈاؤن وریثن بردر اینڈ سسٹرز وریثن و ری سن انشاءاللہ اوکے بردر اینڈ سسٹرز اینڈ معاشرہ وٹ از دا معاشرہ مینس پارٹیز وٹ از دا سنگولر معاشرہ معاشرون از دا از ون پارٹی اوکے اینڈ معاشرہ از دا پارٹیز اوکے ہاتھی جمع گیو دا جمع بدر رسالتون وٹ ول بی دا جمع آف رسالتون رسائلو وٹ ول بی دا جمع رسائلو مفائلو اینڈ دین بدر حدیقتون 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 جمع از حدائکو اینڈ احلون وٹ ول جمع آف احلون وٹ ول جمع آف احلون بدر سسٹر There are two jama'a. Ahluna. Jama'a muzakkar salim. Ahluna. Or ahalin. Ahalin. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Ahluna. This is jama'a muzakkar salim. Or Ahalin, Mankus. Families, brothers and sisters. Wafatun. What is the Jama? Wafayatun. What is the Jama? Wafayatun. Would you write it down, brothers and sisters? Wafayatun. Alhamdulillah, we finished the lesson, brothers and sisters. ربنا آتینا فی دنیا حسنتا ہوں و فی الاخرتی حسنتا ہوں و کینا عذاب النار ربنا حبلنا من ازواجینا و زوریاتینا قررتا یونین و جعلنا للمتقین اماما ربنا تقبل منا انکا انتا سمی العلیم و توب علینا انکا انتا تباب الرحیم سبحان ربک رب العزت اما یسفون و سلام علی المرسلین و الحمدللہ